Previously on Garner Style and Co. See, Snapchat is real rude though. Like you just gonna cut me off. I was in mid sentence. <laughs> Sissy and I did some press interviews before the Kirby Con. How did y'all come up with this? I mean, Chelsea, like were y'all just sitting around one day saying, you know what we need? If we don't finish stuffing these bags, the Kirby Con team is not going to the Eloquy party. Time was running out. You know, we had a lot of things still to accomplish, and we knew we had to come home after that party and still work. Do you have any U-Haul driving skills? Did she just ask me to drive a whole big truck in the streets of New York City? I think Chassie lost her mind. So it's the morning of the Curvy Con and I am just dragging. We put in a lot of energy into this event and today is going to be presented. I was so happy that Chastity called me last night to tell me that I did not have to drive that U-Haul all over New York City early this morning. Oh, I was going to turn over and just fall back to sleep. But then I remember that Desiree has to get up before anybody to get dressed, head over to the venue and manage those volunteers. So I thought I would just get up, throw something on and head down to go check in on her to make sure she's getting all ready. So it's the morning of Curvy Dine. Um, I woke up about 30 minutes late. What's new? Um, and But I still was on a great time schedule. Um, but I had to like take a shower, get ready, try to put on makeup. I wasn't going to get fully dressed. Um, I was just going to throw on some things so I can just like run around and do whatever I needed to do. It's the morning of Curvy Time. It kind of feels like your wedding day a little bit. Um, on my wedding day, I went and had my breaks done, which is really strange, but I pretty much had to get my hair and makeup done. Anything that didn't get done wasn't getting done. So we just kind of had to trust that we did the best that we could do for this event. Who is it? Good morning. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you're up. I, I thought you were going to be. No, I'm late. <laughs> As usual. Do you think you can help me iron that by any chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the heck, Dance Ray? You're like, just now getting up. You have to be there in like 20 minutes. I basically just got the shower. This is terrible. And I was supposed to be there at 8 o'clock. What time is it? It's like 8.15. Well, I look on my wrist like uh, I got a damn watch on. I'm like, okay, we need to be done. I see her dress on the bed. I pick it up and I'm like, okay, I'll steam this for you while you start getting dressed and stuff like that. So I'm steaming her dress and I look and there's a damn sensor on her dress. The girl's a thief, y'all. That's right. Did you steal this dress? Ooh, fuck. Shut up. <laughs> this is outrageous. A sensor is on my freaking dress. I was living. That's right. Why is this still on the damn dress? <laughs> No, I did not steal their dress. I have my receipt. Oh my god. This thing. Gotta be killing me. This killing thing me. says you can use a, a lighter to take off the thing. So I'm gonna burn the dress. The hell you not? I was like, are you serious? Like the day that I, of, out of all days, it has to be the day of this. How did I miss this? I just can't believe this happened to me. What are we gonna do? All I know is that like she has a sensor on her dress. She has to get down to the venue in 20 minutes and there's no time for her to get that done. Do you think we take it to the Macy's over there in um, Times Square, they'll take it off? Yes. Where, is it in Times Square? No, it's no, not in Times Square. Square. It's right here on 34th Street. It's not that far. Oh, it's not that far? She, do you want to do it for Well, me? yeah, I could just, yeah, take it down there after. You see that side once you do it. Look at it. It has those it's spots just, on it. It's just a wet spot. Oh, yeah, it's just a wet spot. Desiree is in a bit of a pickle and she asked me if I could take her dress to Macy's to get the sensor off. As her brother, I said fine, you know. I wasn't really necessarily doing anything at that moment, so I just said let me just help my sister out and make sure she does not look like a fool with a sensor on her dress. Okay, we'll just, we'll well, just, is it walking distance? It is. Okay. I mean, I think you can see that it's going to get hot. Oh. Is it kind of a block? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can just... I need to make sure if that girl can answer her phone, I need to make sure the receipt's in that bag. If not, I have to stop the chat. Oh, so I would need a receipt? Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, I will take Why are you bringing the iron in here? <laughs> I'll take this back upstairs. The iron? Because are you going to? Yeah. There's one in the other room. No, this is from my room. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I cannot believe you brought that iron. And I cannot believe this is happening to me 
on the freaking head, we have to do this. <laughs> right? I was waiting on you to start talking. I was waiting on you at the door. I'm done. <laughs> See, see, that's why black people can just, you know, everybody just gets it. <laughs> All right, so what I basically have is like a back and forth of like you and I both like making points. Uh huh. So I have you. Welcome to the Curvy Con. Obviously, that's gonna happen after the music, after we like walk on, after like whatever. So. Okay. And then I have, and obviously it's not like scripted, but I'm just having notes. Okay. So then I'll say, this conference doesn't belong to Chastity and I, it belongs to all of you. You literally made this happen. We threw a closet sale to raise money for this event and you bought clothes. And when we didn't have sponsors, you bought tickets. Thank you. Then I want you to kind of talk about like the plus size community. Like we, like, I don't know. Like, what do you want to say? Um. Getting my hair and makeup done while preparing for the speeches was a lot. I personally do my own hair and makeup, but just like having people on your hair and on your face and then you're supposed to think about your speech, I was just like, this is a lot. Desiree said everything's coming together naturally. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad somebody called and said, said something good. Something positive instead of bothering us. Yes. So the Kirby Con is taking place at the Metropolitan West here in New York City. It is a beautiful venue. My volunteers, I can't talk enough about them. We had about 20 volunteers. They were full of life, full of energy. They were beautiful, plus size women that, you know, follow CC and Chastity. These volunteers were amazing. Kudos! I love you girls. So I'm here at KirbyCon, just walked through the doors, came here with Chastity and CC, and I am highly impressed. I mean, I literally did not see this like coming together in the sense that it came. When I walked into the KirbyCon, um, actually into the venue, I expected to see, I had all these decals for, for the teal and white stripes that you see on our website that was supposed to be all through the venue. That wasn't there. That kind of set an alarm off to me because first of all, things like that take time. It's 11 o'clock, we have one hour. So a couple of problems that we did run into is that some volunteers that said that they were coming did not show up. They had family emergencies and stuff like that. So I was getting a lot of emails the day of the event, which kind of pushed us back because we were short staffed. We had to make sure the stripes were up and a lot of other stuff that was going on. Um, we need to make sure ladders were out the way before we opened up any doors because we want to make sure that everyone had a great time, which they did. She's a public speaker. She was. She went to theater school. She did all these things. Like this is second nature to her. For me, I'm not in front of the camera, in front of people type of person. I would just kind of rather work in the background. So having her there and just knowing that she would be able to articulate everything was just, you know, some pressure off of me. <laughs> Con less than 24 hours before the event. The Kirby Con registered over 500 people. It was really exciting. I am learning that 
there are really opportunities out there for a plus of women to go out and shop. Uh, and so being that Chastain C came up with this wonderful idea to bring shopping to the readers, it was just brilliant. I'm really, really excited for Chastity and CC and their first Kirby Con. It was amazing. I learned what I liked as I went and you can't be afraid to look bad later because I think it's about risk taking and like people are always like, I can't wear what she wears and the truth is you can. There were a total of four panels and one keynote speaker. And our keynote was April Riley. Really what I was looking forward to was meeting Amber Riley. I met her and it was like really amazing. Do you shop online or in stores? And if so, who are your favorites? a lot online. A lot of the the lines are here actually. <laughs> I love Red Dolls. 1160, my friend Kiki's line is out. I'm loving everything that she has. The Kirby Con as a whole, the energy in the room, it was overwhelming to me. I mean we had people who were platinum ticket holders who came and helped out. Just to believe in this project, to give your all during the day, it's just an amazing feeling like people actually believe in you and what you do. So we're winding down from the event. We are now getting ready to thank the volunteers because this event wouldn't have came all together at the end of the day if it wasn't for them. It's just amazing to have just like, you know, so many people that believe in us and just, you know, give it back to us. As we were thanking the volunteers, I did get a little chuffed up. Um, to have the day go so fantastically. Desiree came to me and just told me how fantastic all the volunteers are, how hard they work, and how hard they work because they support what CC and I do. It was a lot of it was overwhelming, and so I might have got a little misty eye. The Kirby Con 2 is already in works. It will be on June 17th and 18th in NYC. This was our first year. We want to perfect it, you know, before we move it to another location. And so for right now, it's going to remain in New York.